When you think about JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Part 1, who do you think of? You think of Jonathan Joestar, you think of Dio, you think of Arena, you even think of Will Zeppeli. But what a lot of people, especially the internet, like to think about, it's Speedwagon. Robert E.O. Speedwagon has to be one of the most popular characters in their franchise. Being a part of a lot of memes, being a part of a lot of stories, and even part of video games. Even though he has no powers at all, no stance, no hormone, no insect creature being from part eight he has nothing but the fact that he's still prevalent in the jojo's bizarre adventure community is amazing by itself and as i mentioned without any powers what was speedwagon to do he tried to learn hamon for a little bit and even zeppeli told him himself that he would never learn hamon he even tried to help him by putting up speedwagon's pressure points but he just ended up hurting him even more so he just became a helpful guy that occasionally goes and distracts the villain or uses a sledgehammer to to help buy Jonathan or Zeppeli time while they deal with the main villain like Dio or Tarkus and Bruford. What if Speedwagon learned Homo? What if Will Zeppeli was able to open up his pressure points and even a little bit, even in those tiny little bits of Homo ripples, it was able to get a chance at being more of a meme and being more of just the cheerleader of the game and the guy who dictates whatever is happening and talking about how Jonathan did this and Jonathan did that. So here is what if if Speedwagon learned Hamon. So if Speedwagon did learn Hamon, I would say he wouldn't use it as effectively as Jonathan, Joseph, Lisa Lisa, Caesar, Zeppeli, or anyone who's used Hamon. He probably would be the weakest of the Hamon warriors that we've seen in JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. That's perfectly fine because Zeppeli said it himself, even if he did try to teach him Hamon, he wouldn't be as effective as Jonathan. Even if he isn't a great Hamon warrior like Jonathan or Joseph or Zeppeli, Speedwagon can still use Hamon pretty effectively honestly. You know how he has that one spinning hat trick that he did in Ogre Street when he was fighting Jonathan? He could infuse that with Hamon and if he's facing any zombies or vampires he can use that combo trick and able to defeat those zombies easily. We've seen some of the strangest things used with Hamon like Zeppeli spitting wine and turning it into big paws and able to cut up zombies in half so I'm pretty sure if he infused that with Hamon it'd be pretty effective. And if you remembered Robert E.O. Speedway wagon uses a hammer around the end of the series when he's trying to fend off a bunch of zombies from attacking Jonathan. What if he infused the Hamon with the sledgehammer? That could be pretty effective honestly. Not just the power of him wielding the sledgehammer but the power of Hamon that is comparable to the sun would be pretty catastrophic for the zombies. Of course he isn't going to be as strong as the other warriors that I have mentioned but he'd still be pretty effective and an ally to the fight than him just spectating over Jonathan and hoping for the best. And as for part two when he's still alive i'm pretty sure he's still not gonna use hamon he did go to the usa and become a rich oil tycoon unlike straitso who's been studying the arts of hamon he isn't gonna have time for that so he's probably just gonna be having hamon in the side there's a chance that hamon himself is just gonna be out the window he isn't gonna use it as much speedwagon might be able to look a little bit younger as remember when lisa lisa in part two she was around 50 who looked like she was in her mid 20s and straight so looked like he was 70 even though he was past 100 so he'd probably look around 80 a 50 60 year old man instead of being 70 which is still a good thing because he's gonna look young but at the same time it's not gonna help him as much and i'm pretty sure he's not gonna be able to teach joseph the most because he's gonna be the weakest of the hormone warriors he of course would be relying on lisa lisa to teach him more than himself he of course might see joseph's potential on learning hormone but he isn't gonna help him himself because speedwagon will not be using Hamon and will be focusing more on his business with the oil tycoon and opening up the Speedwagon Foundation. And that's pretty much it for Speedwagon. If he had Hamon, he would just be another warrior who would be a part of Jonathan's adventure to kill Dio. And in part two, he's going to be useless because he's going to be more focused on the Speedwagon Foundation and trying to learn Hamon to beat the Pillar Man. Remember, he's like a 60, 70 year old man. Why would he do that if he has a bunch of 20 year olds and a 50 year old woman? who's experienced at homo when he's trying to beat three guys who were able to create vampires just by a mask pretty sure speedwagon is self 
self-aware that he's useless against the pillar man because he himself isn't that proficient at Helmont to begin with. Zeppeli himself said he wanted to open up his pressure points only to be sure that he couldn't harness even a little bit or a fraction of the Helmont power that Jonathan had. And that's basically it lads and gents. If you enjoyed this video, like, comment, subscribe, everything. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll do more JoJo videos. I'm starting to want to create more JoJo content and wrestling and even creepypasta because a lot of people surprisingly watch that stuff as well. So keep that in mind when you're awaiting my videos. So with that being said, see you guys.